Any health-related information on the following show provides general information only. Content presented on any show by any host or guest should not be substituted for a doctor's advice. Always consult your physician before beginning any new diet, exercise, or treatment program. Welcome to Accelerated Health Radio on W4HC Radio, where you can learn to accelerate your body, mind, and spirit to reclaim the true potential that exists within you through cutting-edge wellness, tools, and modalities. Here's your host, Sarah Banta. Welcome to Accelerated Health Radio on W4HC and W4CS. I'm your host, Sarah Banta. I'm a health coach, natural supplement expert, and a busy mom of three teenagers. And for those of you joining us for the first time today, I graduated from Stanford University as well as the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and the Invincible Wellness System, where you essentially learn to become your own doctor. As I was on my own health journey for... um, many years and hitting rock bottom, I was introduced to holistic modalities, supplements, nutrition, and cutting edge technologies that heal the body. And partially through my journey, my nine-year-old son at the time was diagnosed with leukemia. I had been introduced to a supplement now known as Accelerated Silver, which you can find on my website, acceleratedhealthproducts.com, that I started to give to him in addition to cleaning up his diet. And within a year, I noticed that not only were the cancer cells gone, but the anemia and the other nutritional deficiencies he had had disappeared as well. The boy is now 17 years old, never missed a day of school from the cold or flu in the last eight years, and he's a national record holder for rowing crew. He's been my inspiration to stay on top of the cutting edge modalities and supplements that go after curing the incurable, which I talked about a couple weeks ago, and helping my clients live to their most optimal lives in body, mind, and spirit. And I truly believe that your body does want to and is capable of rebuilding and healing itself. So I'm here to answer any of your questions, bring you innovative and cutting edge technologies and health solutions to empower you and your ability to reach your optimal state of health. And so with that, I want to introduce my guest today who I'm beyond excited to really get into it with is Chris Burris. Um, Some may call him a mad scientist, but don't let his lab coat fool you. Chris is the owner of SES Research, the first company to deliver carbon nanomaterials and my vital C, the world's first nano antioxidant. When Chris realized that uh, the Nobel Prize winning chemical tested by NASA had been proven to almost double the lifespan of mammals, he decided to make ESS 60 into a household item. He's now on a mission to help people live longer, healthier, and pain free lives one dose at a time. Welcome, Chris. Thank you, Sarah, so much. That was an amazing introduction. I love uh, the story about your son and and true potential, like true health potential, invincible wellness, all of it. This is this is awesome. Very glad to be here. Well, I have to tell you, my son also just went to the head of the Charles back east in Boston and he took his vital C with him. And I told him, you take it. It'll help with muscle recovery and performance and all and and sleep. He needs the recovery during his sleep. So anyways, go. Uh, it's just been awesome. I've been using it for now, what, three to four weeks, and I could not be more excited with the results I've seen. I'm sleeping better. My skin's feeling younger. I'm looking better, and I truly feel like the clock is turning backwards. Um, But why don't we start with you explaining exactly what ESS60 is or C60 is? Yeah, sure. So so we kind of make two demarcations. C60 is the molecule and the way you produce it, uh, C60 can actually uh, be harmful. So you need to be careful. So we've kind of uh, ESS60 is is where the C60 has been processed for safer human consumption. So if you're going to put it in your body, you want to be dealing with ESS60. And really kind of the, the, the history is it is Nobel Prize winning, winning chemistry. In fact, in uh, 1985 at Rice University here in Houston, Texas. We're based in Houston. Uh, Go Astros. uh, uh, Really excited about how they're performing right now. Um, So, uh, in 1985, it was a Dr. Richard Smalley, Dr. Harold Croto, and Dr. Robert Curl. Uh, each were involved in the discovery of the third form of carbon. We all know carbon's, you know, a very important uh, uh, um, uh, atom on our 
in our bodies. We're known as carbon uh, bodies, um, carbon beings. And uh, uh, so you had diamonds, you had graphite, and now you have a whole gamut of molecules called fullerenes. The most abundant fullerene is, is uh, made of 60 carbon atoms. And if you imagine a soccer ball where the lines on the soccer ball represent the bonds between the carbon atoms, you've got these 60 carbon atoms in the shape of a sphere. Uh, the those three scientists who discovered the material uh, by 1996, so a short 11 years later, actually won the Nobel Prize. Typically, a Nobel Prize is awarded 30, 40, 50 years out. Uh, in this case, it only took 11 years because the scientific community really realized how important this material was going to be. And then now that it's kind of evolved into a supplement, there's a whole lot, there's a great many more people becoming aware of how valuable it is. Just like you, I don't even know exactly how you encountered C60 or, or ESS60. That, that might be kind of interesting to share. Uh, our uh, Freddie Kimmel, who actually was my first guest on my radio show. He's the one that said, you've got to get a hold of Chris. And oh, this, right. yep. this is the supplement, Sarah. This fits right into what you're doing and, and what your platform is and how you're helping people. And this is just one more thing that is going to take you to people's health to the next level. And Oof. it truly is. And I'm super picky with what I what I push and what I recommend to people. And I always use things before I ever talk about them to uh, my clients and um, obviously on, on shows like this. So, I mean, I normally take months to research a product and try it out and it, the benefits were so um, apparent so quickly that I was just so excited to get you on and to have you explain to everybody what it does and how that it can benefit them. And I know there are a lot of researched and proven benefits. And then I also want to touch on the testimonials that are not necessarily quote unquote proven, but um, through testimonials, they tell a story as well. Yeah, I, I think so. Very true. Um, you know, it, it, a lot of people, and I, and I think it's the right approach, the right con cautious scientific approach to like take testimonials um, really at face value, which is it's you know one anecdotal piece of information, and the reality is is all science, you know, and all great discoveries start with this premise, this observation, these anecdotal stories that start to make uh, weave a real complicated novel, if you will. Uh, what's interesting, so they discovered this material, it won its Nobel Prize in 1996. Um, people, you know, I, I started our company in 1991, Robert Wong and I, and um, so we've been selling carbon nanomaterials to research institutions around the world. I would, you know, tell friends what I do, and, and they're like, well, what is it good for? And so, um, we have kind of a running joke. The running joke was, well, it just won the Nobel Prize. So what it's really, really good for is funding. <laughs> if you're going to write a proposal on a Nobel, recently Nobel Prize winning molecule, then you're very, very likely to get funded. Um, scientists had figured out that it was harder than a diamond. It would actually turn into a diamond. Uh, it's large enough for any atom in the periodic chart to fit inside of it. So there's actually a new symbol in chemistry because of this molecule. You know it's, you know it's a revolutionary molecule when it changes the symbols that you use in chemistry. So now we use the wow. at symbol. So if you think about uh, lanthanum at, you know, the email at symbol C60, right. what, that, what that means is, is that lanthanum is trapped inside of it. It's not ionically or covalently bond, bonded on the exterior exterior of that um, 60 molecule atom, it's actually tr physically trapped inside of it. So scientists kind of thought, hey, kind of in the early days as it relates to medical applications, they thought, hey, you know, we could get a radioactive uh, atom inside of this, then we could attach things to the outside of it that would maybe attach, uh, make that particular molecule attached to cancer cells. And now you're like dragging this, you know, radiation uh, molecule or atom with the with the uh, with the formulation, so that it's now attacking the the cancer. So they kind of had these ideas way back when, mm -hmm. uh, but it really wasn't in two thousand until twenty twelve. So 
they knew, again, they won the Nobel Prize in 11 short years. The reason that they won the Nobel Prize so quickly is uh, scientists considered this to be like a 3D version of benzene. And I don't know how familiar you are with benzene. It's the six-sided carbon flat kind of molecule, and it's everywhere, right? It's in plastics, it's in medicines, it's just absolutely everywhere. It's ubiquitous in our society. And so to have this kind of 3D version of benzene, they figured at some point, this C60, right, was going to be ubiquitous. And so they wanted to do a toxicity study because if you're, it turns out that benzene is actually dangerous. You don't want to be messing with it unless you've got the right protective equipment uh, on PPE stuff. And so they assumed that this buckyball C60 molecule would be toxic. So they did a toxicity study like they often will. And what they discovered, well, they gave one set of rats water, one set of rats olive oil, and one set of rats olive oil with C60 in it. And we actually call it ESS60 because they further processed it. So it conforms to the ESS60 standard. And uh, it turns out that the ones given ESS60 didn't die sooner. They actually lived 90% longer. It's amazing. It yeah. truly is amazing. And that's why I feel like I'm getting younger every day. So I'm going to be, I'm 40, I'm 43. So I'm going to be 20, 22 years old in, in a few years, right? <laughs> yes, that's it. That, I think that's the uh, exact word. We're working on a, on a, on a guarantee, guaranteed to roll your age back. By the <laughs> right. <year>. <laughs> so, <laughs> Obviously we can't do that. <laughs> no. But what can you also talk about um, in that rat study, the tumors that were yes. found in the rats? I think it's really, I mean, there's so many amazing things out of that rat study. It was out of the University of Paris. It's a peer-reviewed published study, which is something that you absolutely look for when you're saying, is this a study that has any, that carries any weight? So yes, it's a peer-reviewed study. Um, the the rats that a typical Worcester rat will die at about 32 months, which all of the rats in this uh, who are given water in this particular study did, uh, and a typical Worcester rat will die with a known amount of tumors or you know an estimated amount of tumors, and all of the rats in this study did. What's interesting is even though the rats given ESS60 and olive oil lived 62 months, right? So an additional 30 months on average over a typical Worcester rat, none of them had tumors. So there's clearly some tumor suppressing going on. And I wanna be very clear, like people are like, oh, it's a cure for cancer. There's a really big difference between um, being able to roll back any cancer and then also being a tumor preventative, right? And okay. so, uh, in this study, it is certainly served as a tumor preventative. Uh, and it's the single longest longevity experiment on mammals known to man. So uh, yeah, that that was really, really important part of the study. Awesome. Well, I know we've talked about some of the, the study and the, the proven benefits, but I'd like to talk about some of your customers and their testimonials. And I mean, I've been hearing things about improving eyesight and macular, uh, macular de degeneration, yep. athletic performance, testosterone, um, allergies. So let's let's take the eyesight for for first off because I'm at 43. My eyes are actually I don't know if it's a if placebo effect or what, but my eyesight feels sharper. Um, and because I'm right at that age where a lot of people start wearing glasses, I'm not. Um, my three siblings that are one's younger and two are a little just a little bit older. They're all wearing glasses. So. Yeah there's a study of four people right there. Um, <laughs> but w can you talk about how that would work and is that something that you're hearing? Yeah, so well, we're, we're one, just to comment about eyesight, I really do feel like uh, I've worn glasses. Um, uh, really, I realized that I needed glasses when I went to, to to try and get my driver's license, and and they were like, "No, you you don't see well enough." And I'm like, "No, I see fine. You know, I'm doing fine in school, and I can recognize people across the room, and so I'm not a problem." Turns out I needed glasses, uh, <laughs> and and I had actually had a whole bunch of coping mechanisms in order to enable me to survive with this limited vision. 
Um, but I do feel like right at about 40, my eyesight just took a like a nosedive and just I had one pair of glasses. I lost those. And then I went to the doctor and like, oh, your eyesight's so deteriorated. And I was like, I don't. Yeah, it, it feels like it falls off a cliff. So um, <laughs> we're about to talk about testimonials. So it's really important that I share. Um, well, I'm going to share a couple things. One of them is the FDA hasn't evaluated the product. And I know this is you're in this space. So uh, it's important to note that hasn't been it's not intended to treat, diagnose, cure or prevent any disease. Uh, everything that we're going to share is, uh, is anecdotal. And we do. These are real uh, testimonials that have come in. I think it's also important to share kind of my perspective on the business because if I were in your audience and and I'm listening to this, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna take everything that I say with a grain of salt, and I think you should. I'm as skeptical as anyone out there. I really think, uh, and you'll have an appreciation for this. I really think that there are two typical paths uh, to to getting involved with supplements, right? So one of those paths is, hey, I'm going to be really wealthy and I'm going to sell supplements and that's what I'm going to do. And and that's not my case. I actually have no problem with anybody being will, really wealthy. It's just not the way I ended up in this particular place. The other, I think, is more in line with you, Sarah, where I've got these particular health challenges or in my family there's health challenges and I've done all this research and I've figured out things and I want to share that. I really, I call them like, I want to save the world. I am also not against saving the world, <laughs> but it's just not the path that, that I ended up. Basically, we've been producing this carbon nanomaterial since 1991. They do this study in 2012, this toxicity study, the molecule, and they actually used my company's product. Uh, and that's the one that ended up extending the life by 90%. Uh, and so now I've got a supplement that I'm, I don't know what to do with. These testimonials come in. It really took me a long time as the supplement, as, as these testimonial calls were coming in to kind of accept that you know what i don't know what to do with these right and so i'm just sharing them a lot of people are getting good results i'm getting good results and so really i'm just sharing the information that's here so i, I de definitely wanted to share that with regard to eyesight i can say that my business partner used to require glasses when he was looking at his computer screen um and when we really started taking ess60 in earnest uh he stopped wearing those and that was like one of those things that he noticed it's kind of like you if you kind of notice that you don't no longer need your glasses i don't know maybe if you're driving at night these are very binary things it, it was this way before and it's this way after um and so uh, also my wife uh, her eyes were kind of deteriorating and she kind of reverted that and was able to um to, to go without glasses so uh i think that there is something to that i know that there are testimonials in the space uh about re uh, curing macular degeneration again i'm as skeptical as anyone i'm not even sure that there is a possibility to cure because it's like it's actually a, it's like fixing a rusty beam um once it's rusted away i'm not sure that there's a way to fix it and i'll say that given all of the testimonials that we're getting um you know i'm just i'm just less surprised than i used to be if that makes sense mm -hmm. well do you think it's from the the anti-inflammatory properties of the of the supplement just reducing the inflammation in the optic nerve i know that some of the other things that i deal with like the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting and some of those things are um, anti-inflammatory in nature and a lot of people notice a difference in their eyesight from that um, and, and just reducing insulin resistance that will improve your eyesight but do you think it goes beyond just that that inflammatory or anti-inflammatory property where it's actually regenerating new cells? Um, so I guess the best way to answer it is to say, um, I think there's really three main things that we do know, right? And I'm gonna I'm throwing one that's more of a testimonial, but it's a kind of a, a consistent testimonial. So I'm gonna throw that into the three things we don't know. One of them, it's a great anti-inflammatory, and we've touched on that. The next is it's a great antioxidant. So current uh, thought processes about aging are that it's an oxidation issue and that it's an inflammation issue. So here in this one product, you've got the antioxidant capability and the anti-inflammatory capability. And the next, and this is, uh, there's nothing proven yet. I'm working on getting a study going. Uh, it is as it relates to sleep. 
and one of the consistent testimonials is people are sleeping better. And I've read a I read a book recently called Why We Sleep, and it's an amazing book. It's actually really really scary because it it, it outlines if you're not getting a sleep enough sleep what things happen to you like so how why is it how is it bad on your heart what happens to your heart what happens to your uh, blood glucose levels Um, what happens to your memory like very specific studies as they relate to sleep and so I think there's a lot of hand waving that goes on or maybe our society is hopefully in a transition from I'll sleep when I'm dead to I need to get my whatever seven to eight hours of sleep opportunity every night or I'm going to be dead, right? Or I'm going to be not as valuable. Right. And, um, and and so if this is helping you sleep better, it's very probable that, that just that fact is helping every other testimonial that we're getting as it relates to health, if that makes sense. Well, well, and I can tell you that that was the first thing that I noticed. Within two days, I was sleeping better. And I was having a lot of trouble sleeping because of stress and other things going on in my life. And it was getting me into a deep level of sleep as well, which I hadn't experienced in quite a while. So I think there's a lot to that. Um, I can tell you my, my son got home at one in the morning last night and I have obviously was up until he got home. I did not sleep well. I'm suffering today. But that was <laughs> <laughs> so sleep is more important than we all give it credit to. Um, and and the inflammatory, you know, that is inflammation is the cause of most diseases. And yeah. so when you're taking something that naturally is an anti-inflammatory, you are essentially going after all health issues, or I yeah. would say most. Yeah. Um, and so how would it help with um, athletic performance and um, hormones, those two things? So I can I can share with you a, a couple of testimonials as it, as it relates to, uh, I actually have one testimonial that I can't share because of the choice language that was used in it. Um, it was a it was a, a business associate of mine. I just gave him the sample on a Thursday. He took it on Thursday. The very next day on Friday, he's um, he does mostly body weight stuff. He'll wear kind of uh, vests with weight in them, but he's not you know pumping iron in the gym. And so he's doing lots of push ups, lots of sit ups, and he called me on. Uh, so I gave him the dose on. Uh, well, I gave him the bottle, and he took the dose on Thursday. He called me on Friday, almost screaming at me, like, what in the world is in this stuff? Uh, of course, a few more choice words than that. And uh, and he was talking about, OK, it's the fifth day of the week. Normally, I can only do 75 percent of my push up routine and you know, whatever, 65 percent of my set. He, like he had all this data. Again, people who are kind of exactly aware, in tune with what's going on. Um, they're the ones that give the most give the, give the reports that I give the most credibility to. Right. So even, oh, I'm sleeping better. Uh, like like even you just said is a lot harder to take than I've got one guy who said for 50 years I need an alarm clock and ever since I've been taking ESS 60 or really my vital C uh, I'm no longer I'm waking up before the alarm clock and so and you kind of share shared that right so um, yes. yeah it's it's those very um, data driven pieces of information for instance in my case um, I don't know how how much you've heard about about migraines or headaches. I used to have about four or five migraines every year. I've actually got a spreadsheet where I was trying to figure out, you know, was it maybe I, ha- I was under too much stress or I ate the wrong meal? Or I was trying to figure out why I was getting these migraines, and I've, ha- I've had them since I was in college. And um, and then I really started taking this product earnestly in the beginning of 2018. I didn't get a single migraine for all of 2018. We're, what, into October of 2019, and I did have one migraine in March. Now. I would I would argue that my migraine in March was a lot weaker, but again, that's way too subjective. If we just look at the data, the data says I didn't have a migraine all of 2018. I was supposed to have four, and then in 2019 I've had one. So really, I'm almost six six or seven migraines in, and I've only had one. So it's that really good data that I try and use the most to, to share with people. Interesting. Well, I I think a lot of migraines can be related to obviously blood sugar and diet, but also hormones. So I'd be curious to know if you think it has anything to do with um, your your hormonal levels, your testosterone. And relatedly, as I'm wondering if it would help uh, females, especially get their hormones back in balance. I know 
there's testimonials on helping with blood sugar and insulin resistance, which is an interesting topic for me because I really focus on that in my business and helping people get their, rid of their insulin resistance, which I believe is a cause of most disease because it causes inflammation and the, it's a, just a cascade of problems. But if you pull that back in, you're reducing the inflammation does it help with female hormones? And yes. male, you know, and and I'm I think I'm experiencing that myself, but I think it's also too soon for me to really know because it's only been um, you know four four weeks or so. But can you speak to the hormonal issue and effects? I just got a testimonial. Um, I'm starting a new program that's kind of driving some testimonials. I got a testimonial from a lady who says that her hot flashes that she's experiencing as she's going through menopause have have gone away. The same is actually true for my wife that that curtailed her her hot flashes. Um, and yeah, so I think it is having a positive impact and rolling back the clock. So we've got we've got a couple of testimonials from from women who haven't had their cycle in quite a while and the cycles come back. So right. I'm not sure everybody's interested in that. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly interested, right? Interesting. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. No, I. That's what I was wondering because that is, you know, am I going to have to be get worried about having, you know, get pregnant with that fourth kid? <laughs> I, I'm not ready for that. But good to know on the. And it just makes sense because it's all related, and our whole body works as a full system, and you can't just take one one issue versus another. I a couple other questions as far as you know my daughter's always suffered with allergies and asthma and we've got it we have it under control through diet and the accelerated silver and some of the other supplements I carry but I'm really hoping that this clears the skate you know the, the the so she has no more issues with those yeah. those things yeah. So again, uh, just one of the programs that I've just started recently that test, we got a testimonial that it's helped significantly with allergies. I know with my wife, the same thing. So we do get that regularly. I think allergies, a lot of allergies are again, this, at least the suffering associated is, is b based on the inflammation. And so if we're getting this anti-inflammatory in there um, and just helping, you know, keep your nasal pa nasal passages open so you can breathe you know sometimes that that would be enough uh to give you know relief from from uh allergy symptoms so uh, but yes we are getting testimonials as it rate relates to uh helping with allergies and what about if you had someone in your family with a severe issue like a severe nerve damage for instance i've got my dad has neuropathy mm -hmm. um what would be a therapy, a therapeutic dose that you would recommend for someone with a more serious issue? Because I know that the typical dose is about one teaspoon a day, which is so manageable. It is so yeah. easy to do, um, yeah. even for the person that doesn't take supplements. Um, the one teaspoon a day, yeah, and you can yeah. take it at any time of the day. Is that correct yeah. as well? Well, you can. Um, and we were talking before we got started. There's some situation, and I'll, I'll tell this story because it, it's interesting. So one of our larger distributors here in, here in Houston, her name is Gwen. I've done a couple of videos with her. She was sharing with her friends. Uh, well, actually, she, her, she had some friends over and they were like, well, why do you look so young? And she goes, oh, well, I'm taking this ESS-60, this My Vital C. And she's only put in a couple drops, like, uh, you know, where wrinkles reside on her face. Um, and then she happened to like get up from the table and leave. And, and the ladies actually like used a quarter of her bottle and like all exposed the skin had been lathered with uh, with my vital C by the time she got back. Um, so uh, what's interesting is in their case, they weren't able to sleep that well that night. Um, and then, but since then have been sleeping uh, really well. So I, I tell that story one is just kind of funny <laughs> that they went crazy with the uh, with the my vital C when when Gwen walked out of the room. Um, and the other is there are some people who are reporting that if you take it during the at, at night, like right before you go to bed, and I know that's when you take it, uh, that it can interrupt sleep. In my case, it's not true, but I'm not a great example. I can have a cup of coffee and go right to sleep, so I'm not that best example. So most of our clients do take it kind of first thing in the morning. And and as with any supplement that's that's going to be delivering value for you, you want to make sure you get it into some piece of routine. So don't 
put it in some random place and take it when you see it, put it as part of, I don't know, brushing your teeth or make it part of that process so that you're taking it every day. No, I actually don't take it at night. But what I was telling you earlier is that I was putting it on my face and my skin oh, yeah, at night. Yeah. And I know if I did it right before bed, I could I feel that I felt that little bit of energy that I would get. So I do I do take it uh, usually midday. If I yeah. take it on in the morning or I take too many supplements on an empty stomach, it's a little hard on my stomach. I have a very yeah. sensitive stomach. But what I did notice too is I had spilled a little bit and rubbed it into my hands. And I've always, I mean, hands really tell a person's age. And my hands definitely looked younger um, and felt a lot smoother. But I'm putting it on my neck and my face and it's part of my regimen. And and um, unbeknownst to my husband's knowledge, I spend a lot of money on skincare. And <laughs> I have to tell you that this is probably the the one supplement that topically I'm seeing the biggest difference on my skin from the brown spots to the wrinkles um, and the, the wrinkles that you never think are going to go away are are actually disappearing. Wow. So it's it's been um, very exciting and you know I need to bottle it up and and market it as a skincare skincare product but um, back to um, the nerve damage and neuropathy yeah. have you have you seen any um, testimonials with that or could you see how it could help? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to throw this one because I don't have any specific testimonials. I'm going to throw this one in the category of it, it, it just wouldn't surprise me because of all the other testimonials. I can I can talk to specific testimonials about dementia and, and people getting kind of relief from Alzheimer's. Um, and, you know, obviously those are, are all neuro driven, but it's different than kind of neuropathy where there's where, where you're dealing with something, um, you know, kind of nerve related. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, 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 and you asked what would be uh, kind of a good dose for somebody who's got more kind of extreme uh, issues that they're dealing with. I, I can tell you, I actually take about seven and a half mils a day. So I take a little, you know, a teaspoon and a half every day. Um, and when I know I have busy days that I'm going to have busy kind of challenging, mentally stressful days, I'll, I'll take as much as two tablespoons uh, in a day. And so um, you can take the product. There's, there's dosing is still something that we're going to have to solve. Um, we're going to have to figure out exactly what is the right dosing. It's really interesting. The molecule is so small. So ESS60 is so small that if you take one drop of our olive oil product, there's 475 times more ESS molecules, ESS60 molecules, than there are cells in your body. Wow. Yeah. So it's a it's a teeny tiny molecule. And, and maybe as as this anti inflammatory and as this um, antioxidant, this nanoparticle is actually able to do things in places in your body that, you know, other, you know, vitamin C isn't able to do. Gotcha. And so, I oh, go ahead. Yeah. So I, I really I would in general, I would double dose for somebody who's got some sort of uh, challenge. And and then you've just, because because we're going to have to do this as a kind of a whole industry. This is really kind of brand new. We're going to have to figure out the right dosage for different situations. Um, but I'm, I'm taking, I've taken as much as three tablespoons a day. I've heard about people uh, who, are, who are taking bottles a day, right? So 100 mils a day. Um, that's a little hard on your stomach. That's a lot of oil. Uh, right. You'll probably get some sort of cleanse effect <laughs> from from that much oil. Uh, but yeah, you there's definitely room for you to play around with it. And when you go on, this is something that I did before I had met you because I had heard about C60. I had gone on Amazon and looked at all the supplements and there's price ranges as any supplement goes. How do you know that you are avoiding a fraudulent product um, and getting getting the true stuff? So um, I'm going to share just a, a little story, which is kind of interesting. We got a we got an email form submission from our website, and it was a, a person who actually wasn't a client. They were purchasing from a company called Good and Cheap, uh, and their question was, "Hey, there's this other company, Vitality C60, not Vital C. Please don't get those two confused because they are totally different. Um, and Vitality C60 is making some." 
claims about um, uh, about having a lot more concentration, which really just isn't possible. And the question that was asked of us is, should I switch from good and cheap over to this new Vitality C60? And so it was kind of an interesting situation, right? Because they're not our customer, and, but they're asking for our expertise. So what I explained, I said, good and cheap used to buy from us. Uh, we're the largest manufacturer and distributor of ESS60 on the planet. So uh, most of the people who are in this industry and doing a reputable job uh, will buy from us. Um, they were buying from us, but they were buying the wrong product. Uh, and what I mean by wrong product, their C60, which is good for industrial purposes and in certain situations has been found to be harmful. And then there's ESS60 that's been uh, further processed so that it can be safer for human consumption. They were buying C60 uh, and we knew that they were reselling it. So we stopped selling it to them. So I don't know where they're buying it, buying it from. So I, I shared this in my email response and then I shared because at the time I hadn't done it, I hadn't done any looking at at Vitality C60, and looked at them at all. Um, but I said basically, if you're asking me who you should be using because you trust me, maybe you should just be using my product to make that's the thing that makes sense. Uh, it turns out that that uh, uh, Gwen, uh, who I've mentioned earlier, she ordered some of this Vitality C, um, and it's it tastes burnt. Uh, so. That's, I, I'm not going to say buy it, don't buy it. I'm just going to say it tastes burnt. Interesting. Well, we have so many things to go over, and I, I definitely need to have you on again. Um, yeah. And before I ask you my last question, tell people where they can find you. But I also want to make sure that everybody knows they can use the coupon W4HC20 at Accelerated Health Products on the My Vital C that is already discounted at 20%. And now I'm offering a further discount when you buy a bundle of three bottles, which lasts, what, four and a half months. Um, so anyways, uh, where, can people, where can yeah, people find so, you? Well, well, really, I think, you know, if they're interested in trying it, they should go to acceleratedhealthproducts.com. And, uh, and you know, you're one of our big distributors, so we're so happy to be working with you. Uh, and, I, and I think, really, Sarah can a answer most of the questions. If you really would like to get to me with some sort of question, uh, you can send me an email directly, uh, Chris Burris, that's C-H-R-I-S, B as in boy, U-R-R-E-S, at S-E-S-R-E-S dot -E -S -E com. Awesome. And last question, I ask all my guests, when what top things do you do or focus on besides taking your My Vital C every day to accelerate your body, mind and spirit on a daily basis? So um, really, there's two things and I'm not doing enough of exercising. So I, I really like to get I like to get exercise as much as I can. Uh, I played semi professional soccer for a long time. So exercise is kind of in my DNA. Um, and then then really, especially after reading the book, uh, Why We Sleep, uh, really kind of making sure that I get the right amount of sleep. Those are the things that I focus on in terms of uh, my own mental acuity and health, of course, in addition to taking my vital C. Um, those are the things that I focus on. Awesome. And I couldn't agree more. I'm trying so hard to, <laughs> to make those two things um, a priority in my life as well. Well, thank you, Chris, for joining me today. And we definitely are having you back on because we just um, scratched the surface on this supplement. And I can't wait to come back to you with my own testimonials and the, those from my clients going forward. And we are going to go to a short commercial break and be right back with my facts about intermittent fasting, which we have touched on over the last few weeks and how it can help increase your longevity in addition to taking My Vital C. Uh, we will see you again soon, Chris. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Bye, Sarah. Are you wanting to optimize your physical, mental, and emotional health? Visit www.acceleratedhealthproducts.com. Accelerated Health Products to detox, reset, and rebuild your immune system naturally and to accelerate your body, mind, and spirit with cutting-edge supplements and solutions. Get Sarah Banta's personal advice on a protocol just right for you. That's www.acceleratedhealthproducts.com.
Well, welcome back. And I wanted to just go over the benefits of intermittent fasting, which we've talked about a little bit over the last couple of weeks. And, you know, it's such a misnomer that you need to eat eat six small meals a day and how many times have you been told you need to eat breakfast right when you wake up and follow that by every three hours another meal to keep your blood sugar stable well what if i told you that actually waiting to eat breakfast until around 11 a.m and giving your body's digestive system some rest and some time to heal and reset its insulin sensitivity is anti-aging and helps with energy aids in fat loss and normalizes your blood sugar as we were talking earlier, your your blood sugar and insulin resistance, I truly believe, are the cause of most diseases. So I'm not saying that you're going to eat less calories throughout the day, but just sandwich those calories into a shorter period of time and eat your break fast a little later. Uh, this is called intermittent fasting. It can help you lose weight without feeling hungry help reduce your risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. And if done correctly, intermittent fasting can also lead to better sleep and a lot of energy. So far, research overwhelmingly supports this notion and ditching three square meals a day with the snacks in between in favor of the intermittent fasting. This type of schedule which has been practiced by our ancestors, and it's been a part of most religious practices throughout the world for a reason. So just by changing the time you eat, you will see benefits. So for instance, eating between 11 and seven is a typical intermittent fasting schedule where you adjust your normal daily eating period for to an eight hour window and you're not cutting your calories. This can be any eight hours, and some people do a two-hour window. The benefits of fasting include promoting insulin sensitivity, and optimizing your insulin sensitivity is crucial for your health, um, helping with insulin resistance, um, and poor insulin sensitivity will contribute to nearly all chronic diseases. It is actually too much insulin floating throughout the body that causes weight gain, hormonal balance issues, um, diabetes and high blood pressure and speeds up aging. This will also help normalize your ghrelin levels, also known as your hunger hormones. Those hunger hormones start going away when you intermittent fast, it's amazing. It also increases the rate of human growth hormone production, which slows the aging process, and that's something that we were talking about earlier with Chris. And it lowers triglyceride levels and the risk of heart disease. It helps suppress inflammation and fight free radical damage. So another way to reduce the inflammation. And like we said before, inflammation is the cause of most diseases. And this is the amazing part. If you are on a diet program and you're doing intermittent fasting, it retains muscle mass while burning fat. Most diets, as if you're eating small meals all throughout the day, you're actually losing muscle mass and burning fat at the same time. So this is maintaining that lean muscle mass while burning fat. And of course, it reverses diabetes quickly. You incorporate a ketogenic diet with intermittent fasting, and you can reduce or reverse your uh, diabetes, that's type two, within, I've seen it within a month to two months. Um, and this switches your body into fat burning mode, especially with the help of keto. So insulin is the game changer. We are constantly told we need to eat continuously to keep that blood sugar stable so we don't bonk. Well, actually, you need to focus not on the blood sugar, but on the insulin. When insulin is present and it's only released when you eat food, mostly sugar and carbs, your body stores fat. Insulin's job is to store fat. So when insulin is not present, you burn fat. It's truly a simple equation. So when you eat sugar, gluten, carbs, you release the most amount of insulin. And when you eat protein, you release less. And when you eat fat, you release the least amount. And when you eat nothing, you don't release any. So your body doesn't store fat when your insulin is not released. Therefore, you don't store fat when you're either not eating or eating mostly fat and in a ketogenic state. So if you take two people, feed them the same amount of food, 
and inject one person with insulin, that person will gain fat and the other wouldn't. This, sim this simple truth makes you realize that type 2 diabetes is a disease of insulin resistance and not a disease of blood sugar. But for some of us, it's hard to fathom switching to intermittent fasting. We get headaches, energy bonks, we can't move forward without a snack. And keto and the ketogenic diet changes that and makes it really easy. So not only does it quickly flip you into that ketogenic state and bypassing any feeling of sluggishness, headaches from low blood sugar, but it also can help you give, can use it as your breakfast, a, a keto shake or a keto su supplement to stabilize your blood sugar and gives you a steady stream of energy and suppresses your appetite and most importantly, helps you reset insulin sensitivity. What's interesting is most people during that bonk phase, it's not that they're needing food, they're actually needing hydration and, and uh, the, the electrolytes, the magnesium, the potassium, and the, um, the sodium. And that's why I also say when you are in a ketogenic state or you not eating your, that sugar and carbs, that your kidneys let go of sodium. So you actually need to increase your sodium intake and you wanna make sure you're taking the right kind of salt. Table salt is full of plastics. You really need to be careful with that. You wanna take a in a, a, a like a Himalayan salt or what I, I carry, accelerated ancient salt, which is radiation free salt coming from the Andes and the Himalayans and the pristine mountains in Utah. Um, and that salt is not only going to give you the proper minerals and the sodium, but it also has some of the other electrolytes in there and it's radiation free. So that is really important as well. So when people do switch to a ketogenic diet or do try to intermittent fast and they're feeling a lack of energy or they get those headaches and that keto flu, quote unquote, um, side effects, just hydrate. See if that makes a difference. Put a little salt on your tongue. That also can help with stabilizing your blood sugar and um, also helping with your energy. So as you move forward, the insulin sensitivity improves and the appetite gets suppressed and your those the insulin resistance goes away. So this is a domino effect. Your inflammation re reduces, your um, body starts to heal. As you are not releasing insulin, the healing genes in your body turn on. So your body says, okay, I don't need to work on um, digestion right now. Let's go and kill those cancer cells. Let's go fight the disease and the foreign pathogens that are going on and causing issues in our body. When you're eating all day long, your body has no break to take that that breather and say, okay, let's go after and clean up and be the Pac-Man and get into that process of autophagy, which essentially means self-eating. And it goes after like the Pac-Man and, and cleans up the fungus and the candida and the foreign pathogens that we don't want in there. As you're doing that and you're taking the accelerated silver that kills off all foreign pathogens in the blood and then you incorporate my vital C which is in, in reducing the inflammation in the body and actually coming into it from an oil made in olive oil which is a ketogenic food in general that is only going to enhance the healing pro, um, those properties. So what does a fasting sample uh, schedule look like? You wake up, you have your coffee or tea, and when you get hungry, you can make a, yeah, take your keto supplement if you want to incorporate an exogenous ketone supplement that puts your body into ketosis right away. Then you eat your first meal between 11 and 2 p.m. And so you wait until you're hungry. You really listen to your body and, and your hunger signals. If you need a snack, reach for some nuts or healthy fats, protein or veggies. You have a low carb dinner, but saturated fats are totally fine. A ribeye steak with some butter on top is a green light as long as you're not incorporating the carbs that go with it. And then you don't eat past seven or eight at night. If you have trouble sleeping, um, you can also take a, a 
decaf keto supplement an hour before bedtime and uh, it, it can help stabilize that blood sugar and help you sleep. Sometimes our sleep is, is disrupted because of our liver and the glucose stores going up and down and our blood sugar going up and down. So once you get things settled down and on a stable path, you're going to be sleeping better. And if you think you're in you need in need of a, a liver flush, contact me and I can help you out with that as well. So finding out what schedule works for you may take some trials and errors. errors. I'm always available to come up with a game plan that fits your personal lifestyle. So thank you again for joining us today. And if I can help you with your health issues, contact me, Sarah Banta at Sarah at AcceleratedHealthProducts.com. Happy to help put together a protocol for you. I know sometimes it's hard to know where to start. And don't miss next week's show with Jason Goodman from CrowdSource The Truth. He has over 100,000 subscribers among his multiple platforms. And he is a fascinating individual who is health-minded. Again, you can find the supplements and many informational videos on my, my website, acceleratedhealthproducts.com, and use coupon W4HC20 for 20% off site wide, including the My Vital C, which is already discounted at 20%. Thanks again for joining us here on Accelerated Health Radio, and we will see you again next week. Are you wanting to optimize your physical, mental, and emotional health? Visit www.acceleratedhealthproducts.com. Accelerated Health Products to detox, reset, and rebuild your immune system naturally and to accelerate your body, mind, and spirit with cutting-edge supplements and solutions. Get Sarah Banta's personal advice on a protocol just right for you. That's www.acceleratedhealthproducts.com. Thank you for joining us today on W4HC Radio for Accelerated Health Radio with Sarah Banta. Make sure to tune in every week at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to uncover your highest potential through natural and innovative wellness modalities. 